Annabelle and welcome back to Meepo Village. Today we're playing Funkoverse. We are going to be playing Game of Thrones. So join me, let's go, let's head to Winterfell and let's play Funkoverse. Okay guys, I have the game almost set up. I'm only using components that came in this core, in this box. Uh, I'm not mixing and matching today. I wanted to show you uh, what comes in the box and then you can play it right out of the box without having to mix a match. Of course it is fun to mix a match, I understand. Uh, one thing that I will notice uh, right off the bat is that um, in, in this particular set the uh, bases are four different colors and that's because in this game you can play uh, versus one to four players. In other games you'd have to team up two versus two. Uh, and it's usually two, it's two white bases versus two black bases. But in this game um, you have yellow and red because yellow and red can be a completely different player. That's why there's actually four tracks because there can be uh, four players. Um, usually um, if you're playing in the same team you only need one track. Uh, so that's important to notice and you just have to remember who's with who. So in this game, and of course they're, they're, they're in front of you, but in this game I'm playing uh, John and Daenerys are teaming up against, believe it or not, Arya and the Night King. Uh, each game is going to have uh, setup instructions that are particular to this game, so I've followed those already. Uh, I will show you the setup instructions and also how I set up the game. Alright, in this game we're going to be playing Infiltrate, which uh, we need to use the Winterfell map for, which I got already done. And it says, the Battle of Winterfell's initial assault has been exhausting on all sides, forcing you and your rivals into defensive positions. Defend your position from rivals while sending your remaining forces to catch them off guard. So kill, but don't be killed. <laughs> Alright, and for the setup, of course we're going to set up uh, the way we set up every game, but also each player places an infiltrate marker, which is a tower, a little icon, on the indicated space in their starting zone. Okay, so just like uh, it's pointing out, I have all of my point markers set in the board. I also noticed their starting areas of everybody. Uh, and it says every player, each player um, puts in a tower, I forgot what the name was, uh, an infiltrate marker on their area. So because I'm only playing with two players, even though there's four different characters, um, but they're in a team. I've placed uh, Johns and uh, what's her name, Daenerys down here, and the Night Kings and Arya's up here. Uh, so we're not we're only having one per uh, team, I guess, uh, because there's it's essentially we're playing a two-player game. Um, okay, what else do I have? Uh, well, that that's that basically set up. I have my two uh, what do you call them? My, my two my two players, my two characters in in the team. And I've collected their, uh, you can call it mana token, energy, I don't remember what the name is, but uh, the the energy that they use to power their abilities. Uh, John's going to start with a companion, which is also something new in this game, so you'll see how that plays out. It is the same as having an item. And because of that, and because I've given John a companion, I went ahead and I put Arya on the other team, even though it would be nice to have a brother and sister team, but I put her on the other team because she's got needles, she's got an item. And um, I've done the same thing here with uh, my two characters, their mana tokens, their exhaust tokens. They're going to be the team that is going to start as the first or current player marker. Um, and also I have their components here which will come into play and you'll see that as it happens. I got all my point markers here, I got my dice, uh, we're going to be rolling down there. We've got our uh, cool uh, cooldown trackers for both teams. We're not going to be using these two, um, which means maybe I can put these closer to me. <laughs> How about there? Okay, sure. And um, let's go check out what the rules for this particular scenario are. Okay, so here's our rules. When a character is on or adjacent to a rival's infiltrate marker, the character may do an interact action to score it. When they do, place the infiltrate marker on the one of its owner's cooldown track and return the character to its starting area. When an infiltrate marker shifts off a cooldown track, place it back on the map in its corresponding setup square. In subsequent turns, players may interact with infiltrate markers that have returned to the map. So basically I got a chance to go and uh, get this infiltrate marker, put it back on the cooldown track, 
when it comes back out on the map, I can do that again, repeat, and get points. Okay, gaining points. If a character returns to your starting area using the rule above, gain one point. If you knock out a rival or have a character standing adjacent to a rival that is knocked out, gain one point. If you interact with a point marker, gain one point. Okay, and winning uh, with playing with two characters per side, which is what we're doing, gain six points to win. So six points, we can declare a winner. We are ready to go. It's important to notice that John has a companion and just like an item starts with the character that's carrying the item in their hands, like Arya is holding needle over here, uh, John starts with, uh, the companion starts in his starting area. Um, but with that said, we can go. I'll tell you all about the rules with the companions and everything as they come up. Uh, let's go to gameplay. Okay, so Arya and their team are out first. Now, um, I want to get started with the Night King. He's going to be first, uh, and I'm going to use one of his abilities. Let me show you which one. Let's go over what he can do. All right, so what is the Night King without his minions? Let's first check out his ability that's always with him. Winter is here. When the Night King becomes exhausted, each white minion does a move to or challenge one. When another character is knocked out, place a white minion token in an empty square adjacent to the Night King. So he's going to be using his minions around the board. Important to notice his defense is two, so when he is challenged, he's gonna be rolling two dice. Now his abilities, Ice Spear, which has this symbol, which means it's an attack action. What is Ice Spear? Range four, challenge three. So he can actually attack from far away. Then he has Raise the Dead, Place a white minion token in an empty square adjacent to the Night King and Dreadful Command. Each white minion token does a move two and then a challenge one. So I want to start getting minions out on the board. So my first action is going to be to raise the dead and place a white minion token in an empty square adjacent to the Night King. And I don't think I mentioned it before. I um, get to take two actions during my turn. And I have a list here of all of the basic actions. We can go over those uh, as, soon as, as soon as I take a basic action. But for now, I took a special action, which is something that is listed on the character's card per se. So I will raise the dead. In order to do that, I have to pay gray uh, energy because I do not raise the dead. So I match the symbol. And I also need to know, notice that number. I need to pay this mana and I need to put it on the cooldown track on space number one, which means that it's going to return rather quickly to me. So I go ahead and place the mana that I used on the number one, because that's the number that's uh, you know presented here, identified here. And then I take one of my white minions and I can put them adjacent in an empty square adjacent to the Night King. So let's send him over here. And that was one out of my two actions. Now I have to kind of defend my tower so I don't want to go too far but I also see that there's a point nearby um, and it's going to be hard for Daenerys to get it because of all these walls so I'm going to go ahead and take a move action which is one of the basic actions let me show you what the basic actions are so forget about the sworn brother he is just one of the characters that we can use we're not using miniatures so we're going to ignore this for now and just focus on the uh, basic actions that any character can do including the sworn brother who can only do basic actions but again let's forget about him so first one is move move up to two squares the second one is to challenge, which has that symbol again, which is an attack action. Roll two dice to challenge an adjacent rival or to attack. Assist, which is stand up an adjacent ally. Interact, this action differs depending on the scenario. And we know that here we interact with the tower icon, the infiltrate icon, we can score. And then rally, which is if we're knocked down, use two actions to stand back up. And it takes two actions so we can do anything else. But for now, I'm okay. I'm standing up, so I'm going to move two squares. So I'm going to go ahead and position myself uh, closer to that objective token so I can get some points. One, two, while not deviating too far from my tower because I want the Night King to kind of protect the tower and then Arya to go and uh, get uh, John's infiltrate marker if possible. That's kind of what my plan is. Let's see if I have to switch it around. I've done all of my two actions. I cannot uh, do anything else about that token. I wish I could grab it, but I'm going to have to wait on that. With that, the Night King is exhausted. Now, he has an ability that triggers when he's exhausted. We read it, but let's go over it again. Down here, Winter is here. When the Night King becomes exhausted, which he just did, each white minion does a move two or challenge one. And that's why I kind of wanted to um, 
quickly get that white out on the board because I didn't want to not take advantage of after all each of my turns this white minion is going to uh, well you know <laughs> move or, or do challenge one which is an attack action so for now he's gonna move uh, and I think we're going to go this way let's see we can't go straight because this wall indicates that um, it's obstructed but I could go that way um, or I can just go next to my king no I think I'm going to go one two and um, start moving towards my opponents also this way I'm blocking both entrances kind of blocking both entrances because you cannot walk through enemy figures but uh, the Night King is now exhausted, done everything that I can do, so we're going to go to John's team, and who's going to go first? Let's start with the Targaryen. Let's first check out her abilities. She is the Mother of Dragons, of course. At the beginning of Daenerys' turn, move the Dragon token up to four squares in a straight line, or place a Dragon token adjacent to Daenerys. Now, we don't have the Dragon token on the board, so we're going to have to just place it. And whenever the dragon token moves, it may move through rivals and obstructions, because of course it flies. What are her skills? Liberator. Daenerys may do an assist action. An adjacent ally may do a basic action. Alright, Dragon Rider. Move the dragon token two squares. If the dragon token is within two squares of Daenerys, you may place Daenerys in the dragon token square. I guess she's riding the dragon. And last but not least, we have an attack action, which is Dracarys. Move the dragon token up to four squares in a straight line. Do a challenge three to rivals moved through. And this is limited to once per turn. So the first thing that I'm going to do is place dragon, which is a small little token like this, uh, adjacent to the nearest. Now, um, I'm going to put him here. This does not count as an action. This is part of her passive ability, Mother of Dragons. Now I get to do my actions. Uh, and I see uh, an ability token, uh, I mean a, a point a marker that I can score. So I'm going to first do a move action, which we already looked at. One, two. And now that I'm adjacent to that point marker, I can interact with it and pick it up. So as soon as I pick it up, I get a point. So Team John already has a point out of the six that they need. Now this um, marker that I interacted with goes on the four of the cooldown track. So I'm going to put it here and it's going to move down at the end of the round, but it's going to take a while until it goes back on the board and then I can somebody can pick it up again. It doesn't have to be the same person, obviously. But with that, Daenerys is exhausted. She has ended her turn and we go back to uh, Night King's or Arya's uh, team turn and the Night King's already acted. He's exhausted so he cannot go again until Arya goes. So Arya's going to go and let's look at what she can do. So Arya Stark has Arya's List. If you're familiar with the show, you're familiar with the list. When a rival character challenges Arya or one of her allies, you may give that rival the Arya's List status card or move the Arya's List status card to that rival. She's going to give someone the list whenever she or the Night King is challenged. Let's look at that list. Here is her list. It says when Arya knocks this character out, she may do a basic action and then discard this card when this character is knocked out. I must say knocking out a character in this game is not so easy. Uh, if we look at her abilities, one, two, three, all of them, <laughs> all of them are challenge abilities. All of them are attacks. She's really, a, she's really a good attacker. Water dancing, move one, challenge two, and then move one. Valor Morghulis, challenge three, or challenge six against the rival with the Arya's list status card. So it's important that she gets this card out. And then Faceless Assassin. Place Arya adjacent to a rival within four squares. If that rival has the Arya's list status card, do a challenge two to them. So Arya wants that list out, and my opponent doesn't want that list out. Also, it's important to remember that she has an item. And here is Needle. When this character does an ability, which is all those three things that we read, um, you may increase a challenge or move on that ability by one. If you do, place Needle on the two of your cooldown track. So getting that list out is not as easy as, you know, just handing it to them. She has to wait until somebody challenges her. And, you know, knowing that, I know the other team is going to try and go after the, the Night King. 
uh, or it's actually better for, for them to go after the Night King. However, that's why the Night King is defending the tower and Arya is going to uh, attack these guys because she knows they, they don't want to attack her back. They want to go after the Night King. We'll see how it all plays out. But in the meantime, Arya's here. Uh, there are points to be had. John's team already got a point, so I can't stay behind. So I'm going to do a move action. One, two. And now that I'm adjacent to the point marker, I'm going to go ahead and interact with it. Put it on the four and get our first point for teams it's not team stark right because there's starks well this is Jon snow so team stark i guess okay so she's exhausted after that and we go back to <laughs> team snow and team snow it, only uh john snow is still around able to move so let me show you what his abilities are so john snow blood of wolf and dragon while standing when john or an adjacent ally challenges a rival and wins you may shift a red or yellow ability token on your cooldown track down one, and you can only do this once per turn. He's also wild at heart, which is an attack. There's, he has two attacks, actually. So wild at heart, move three. This action may move John through rivals. You may do a challenge two against a rival controlled by a player with more points than you. So only if the player, well, the player is winning. And then long claw, which of course is the name of his sword, challenge three. In Chosen Leader, each adjacent ally may do a basic challenge or assist action, limited once per turn. So he likes to be adjacent to others, to other allies appearing. His companion, Ghost, can move up to two squares. And for a red mana, he can bite, which is a challenge too. And he's a loyal protector. When the character Ghost is attached to is knocked down, you may place Ghost adjacent to them. He comes to the rescue right away. Now, real quick, here are the companion's setup and rules. Um, so it says that um, the attach when a character with an attached companion takes their turn, the attached companion may also do one of the actions listed on the companion's card. Additionally, a character with an attached companion may forfeit any number of their actions on their turn to allow their attached companion to do that many actions selected from the actions listed on the companion's card. So, and you can read the rest, but basically what it means is that Ghost gets to do one thing, uh, that's written on his card and then if I want John can instead of do actions himself can let Ghost do actions. So uh, of course the, the first turn there's a point to be had if uh, whoever comes first come first serve John is really close to a point we'll move him first basically we're gonna do the same thing we're doing with everybody else he's gonna take a move action can move up to two squares and then he's gonna do an interact action which means he's going to take the point and that is actually the end of his turn, but remember, his companion gets to do something, and uh, he can move too. He wants to go bite something. Um, I think we're going to send them, one, two, up north towards the, the Night King, or flank if Arya comes our way. But um, that's it. That's everything that the team has done. And now everybody's exhausted, so we've come to the end of the round. Now at the end of the round, uh, we check if there's anyone uh, at the, any of the tower spaces because we would bring them back to their starting positions and they would get a point, um, but no one is there yet. And um, also we will shift everything down on the cooldown track. Uh, the starting player does it first. So this comes down, this comes down. Once it's out, it goes back to the respective pool or back on the board. Now we do the other team there we go and um, everybody gets unexhausted because they're ready to go for the next round and the first player marker or current player marker passes on to whoever is going to be first next turn which is Arya and uh, not Arya John and Daenerys so this turn I'm going to start with Daenerys and if you remember her ability at the beginning of her turn mother of dragon at the beginning of her turn move the dragon token up to four squares in a straight line and remember he can avoid he doesn't he can move through rivals he can move through obstructions he he flies so i'm going to go ahead and move him one two three he's going to stop there kind of threatening the night king a little bit um and now it's her turn what does she want to do first i'm going to have daenerys do a basic move action one two she's moving towards the goal uh, now uh i think i'm going to have her 
do a dragon rider because if i do i can move a little quicker so i'm going to use the dragon rider and try to move daenerys quicker towards that infiltrate token it says move the dragon token two squares if the dragon token is within two squares of daenerys you may place daenerys in the dragon token square of course i have to pay one uh, i mean uh, a yellow mana and place it on the cool track on space one so i'm going to go ahead and move dragon two one two and uh, that one did not say that it had to be in a straight line, so I'm kind of positioning him, positioning him like that. And then if the nearest is within two spaces, she gets to well, ride the dragon. I wish it was a like a dragon, a real dragon we could put her on, but we'll have to leave it like that. And I pay my mana, and with that, she's exhausted. She did a move action, and then she rode her dragon. So now we go back to the Night King's turn. I'm gonna have the Night King go first because um, I want to make sure I pick up. That objective um, but let's see all right so the first thing I'm going to do is going I'm going to interact and I'm going to put this there get a point that's one of my two actions and then for my second action I think I'm going to raise the dead again uh, I can have up to two of these guys and why not have them when I can so uh, raise the dead I put my mana on the number one place a, a minion token in an empty space adjacent to the Knight king so there he is, and with that, he is done, so he's exhausted. But remember, when he's exhausted, his minions move. Um, and the white minion uh, does a move two or challenge one. So they're both going to move two. One, and one, two. Or shall we send this guy to Arya? One, two. No, Arya's coming this way, so we're going to... Besides, Ari is on our team. <laughs> I'm telling you, not having the, the bases the same color is a little bit distracting. I felt tempted to grab the same color bases from another game, but I was like, let me show you how it is. Um, anyways, uh, Ice King, Ice King, Night King is done. Uh, we're back. John goes. Uh, it's his turn. Uh, he doesn't want to wander too far. He doesn't want to leave his tower unprotected, but he sees that Daenerys is going to be in trouble if he doesn't go and help. Um, he can also send um, Ghost to go and help, but let's see, what can he do? I think first we're going to do a move two, one, two. He wants to get closer, at least, to the action. And he's going to do another move two, one, two, and stand here behind Daenerys. And then, of course, uh, we can have, actually, let me see, one, two, because I can four feet actions. He can move two, let's see, he's going to move two anyways. Can he move through here? I don't think so. So one, two. Uh, can he move closer? One, two, and protect. One, two. Yes, I'm gonna move ghost. I wanna have uh, John forfeit one of his actions to move ghost again, um, because I know things are starting to happen, and it seems like we're going to be in the middle of the battlefield. Although I don't know what they've got planned, but with that, John is exhausted. We go back. Arya is the only one that hasn't gone. She also needs to get in the action. Now she is really good at attacking, so I really need to position her. Um, and also she wants to be challenged by someone because as soon as she's challenged by someone, she can give that list out. So one and two, and let's see. We're going to try water dancing. Move one, challenge two, and move one. This is our first attack. So move one, <clears throat> then challenge two, which means, what that means is I get to roll two dice for my challenge. But wait, I'm gonna use needle. When this car character does an ability, which is what I'm doing, you may increase the challenge or move on that ability by one. If you do, place needle on number two. Okay. First and before I forget, I have to pay for my water dancing, which goes on number two. Needle goes on number two as well. Um, and then, actually, let me put him here so that I bring everything down. And then I get to increase my challenge by one. So that means that I'm rolling three instead of just two. Now, I'm challenging Daenerys, and she rolls two dice for her defense. So let's do those. Okay. All right. Our first challenge. Let's see if we can at least knock her down. We won't be able to knock her out because for that we need to attack her again. We um, we can't because we've already used the move action and then an ability, so we've done all our actions. But at least we can try and knock her down. Let's see. All right, she has two successes. That's every star is a success, and we're very punchy punch. And then the the 
Shield does not count. That's only for defense. Let's see if she can defend. And she can because that exclamation mark is three successes no matter what. So she actually has three successes plus one more success. She has four successes against the two hits from Arya. So nothing happens to her and uh, Arya is now exhausted. And with that, everyone is exhausted. Let's bring our dice back. With that, everyone is exhausted. So we reach the end of the round again. At the end of the round, everything's going to go down. We're going to start with our... Uh, the team that has the current player marker, then over here this goes down, needle, and this goes down. Okay, and soon we're going to get our objective points in, uh, back on the board. Um, we unexhaust everybody, and current player goes back to this team. And with that, we're ready to start. Now we're all closer and ready to attack each other. The Night King's still up there, but he's got his minions uh, running around doing his job for him. Okay, so let's start. Who shall we start with? Um, I think we should give Arya... Can we give Arya another try? Maybe we should wait, and I'll tell you why. Um, if someone challenges Arya, then she can give that list away and her attacks become more powerful. So let's start with the Night King. Uh, what's he going to do? He's going to use his Ice Spear, which is an attack action, but from far away. Why, why get close to everybody when he can attack at range 4 and do a challenge 3? So with my Ice Spear, I need to put my uh, token on the 3, which is going to take a while to get it back, but I, hopefully it's worth it. I'm attacking Daenerys because we're all attacking Daenerys. <laughs> we're all going against the, Mother of, against the Mother of Dragons. He is rolling 3 because it was a challenge 3, so that means 3 dice for him. And then Daenerys, again, defends with two. But so far she's been defending good. Of course, it's only been once. But <laughs> let's see. Let's see what the Night King does. Okay, looks like the Night King hit for four, because that's a success. And uh, uh, the little punch is another success. So we have four. And then she's defending for one. So this time the Night King gets her. So with that, she is knocked down. Not knocked out, but knocked down. Now, does anything happen when she gets knocked down? No, nothing happens. I checked. It's, it's John. When John gets knocked down, Ghost comes to his rescue. But for now, she's just knocked down. I'd have to hit her again and win in order to knock her out. Now, I cannot use my Ice Spear again or my Raise Dead because there's no more gray mana tokens available. But I can do my Dreadful Command if I use a yellow token, ability token, dreadful command. Each white minion token does a move two and then a challenge one. That's why I wanted to have as many minions out there as possible. Okay, so I'm going to pay for that, put my token on number two. Um, my, Unfortunately, my minions have to move first and then attack, and I already got them where I want to, because we're going for Daenerys. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going, let me see, this guy, one, two, three, one, two. Yeah, I'm going to start with this little guy, because if he is able to knock her out, then my other guy can move one, two, and attack John, which is the only one that's still around. So, unfortunately, my guys only do a challenge one, so they're going to be rolling one die uh, versus Daenerys rolling two, but you never know. We can, we can do it. Okay, so, all right, we get one hit. Let's see how she rolls. And she gets one defense, so this time she's okay. Uh, and that's this minion, but each minion does this, so I'm going to go ahead and instead of moving him to get John, I'm going to not move him, but just do a challenge one and see if we can get... Yeah, it's another one hit. And... And that's another one defense. So she's lucky to survive both attacks, but it's okay. Uh, I might be able to get her later. In the meantime, he is exhausted now. That's not all, remember, because winter is here. When the night can becomes exhausted, each minion does either a move two or a challenge one. So I have two more chances because I'm going to challenge her one. So I should have put those away. <laughs> okay, let's go. My first minion does one damage. And Daenerys 
And there is a uh, defense, okay. And then my other minion, this guy doesn't let me see what's going on. Okay, he's got one damage. And she defends. So she is very, um, very well, defends very well against all of my little minions attacks. But uh, I don't know, maybe we'll get her later. Uh, all right, so that was the uh, what night, night King's turn. Now we're going back to John and, and Daenerys. And John needs to go help her. <laughs> so let's see. I'm going to do a basic move. One, two. I don't want to stand next to Arya because my next action has to be an assist action. If you don't remember, assist means to stand up an adjacent ally. So I need to get her up or else the only thing she'll be able to do during her turn is to rally. Use two actions to stand up. And also, after my turn comes Arya's turn. And if she gets to win a challenge against Daenerys, Daenerys is going to be knocked out. And that means we're going to lose her for a little bit. Plus, they're going to score. I need to prevent that from happening. So from uh, an adjacent diagonal square, which I'm going to have her stand up. I'm not sure what these things do if they block line of sight. I know these do. I'm thinking those do too. Now that I look at them, just in case, I don't want to be cheating. I'm going to get here and take the beat down from Arya. I guess I'll have to. Um, just because I don't know exactly if those block uh, my ability to get her up from there. If you know, please let me know in the comments. Um, all right, so at the end of my turn, uh, uh, Ghost is going to move. One, two. He's getting ready to... Should we kill one of those whites? Because um, they are a little pest, but no, I think we're going to go for Arya. Okay, so that was John's turn. He's exhausted. We go back. We go back to Arya, who is ready. <laughs> All she has, though, is Palamogurus. It's the only thing that she can do, which is a challenge three or challenge six against the rival with the list. Nobody has the list. Um, does Arya want to Palamogurus? I think she will. We need to get these guys dead. Um, both of them to roll two dice when defending, so... Um, I'm going to try and get Daenerys knocked down because if I do, at least she won't be able to do much during her turn. And John didn't do much during his turn either. So I will Valor Morgoris, which goes on the three. And it's a challenge three because Daenerys doesn't have my list yet. Um, so I'll be rolling three to Daenerys two. Okay. And that's two hits. And now the nearest defense, and that's only one defense. So yes, we got it. We are going to knock her down. And um, now uh, I can move, I can do something else. I think I want to knock her out, if at all possible. Um, I don't want to spend all of my turn, but I would, I would score a point if I get it now. In order to do that, I don't have any more mana, but I can do just a basic challenge action, which is a challenge two. So I'm just going to be rolling two. And I got two hits, so that's pretty good. I mean, it could, be, could have been better, but let's see if she can defend. And she cannot. She only defends one out of the two hits, so we've done it. And that's great because that way you'll see what happens when we knock down a character. So once we knocked out, uh, knock out a character, um, we put her on space number one. Uh, and we also gain a point uh, according to our um, game points. Gaining points. If you knock out a rival, which is what I did, or you have a character standing adjacent to a rival that is knocked out, gain one point. So I'm gaining one point because I knocked out a rival. The Night King was nowhere around, so I cannot get a point for that. So Arya got us a point, and now she is exhausted. She did everything she has to do. They're out of mana. These guys are full of mana, so I don't feel too bad for them yet. Uh, but uh, Daenerys is uh, out of the picture, I believe, though. She's not there. I'm not sure if this is the beginning of the Daenerys turn, move the dragon token up to four squares in a straight line, or place a token adjacent to Daenerys. She's not there, so I'm just gonna move dragon four. Where is dragon? Where is that dragon? Where did he go? Oh, he was underneath her. Okay, four squares. She's gonna be down over here. No, where does she start? She starts up there. Um, let's go in a square, a straight line. One, two, three. I'm gonna start attacking the Night King. I don't think he wants to move from there, so I'm kind of threatening him. I'm going to go 
uh, right over him, flew, flow, fly over him and attack him if he doesn't get a move on. But Daenerys is exhausted because she's not even on the board. And with that, everyone is exhausted. So uh, in Glare order, we are going to bring everything down. So Arya gets her list back. Not her list, her needle. And we they have a one little mana token. Everything gets unexhausted. This girl comes back and she goes to her starting place, which I remember is up here. So we'll just place her up there. Everything else comes down. Everything gets unexhausted. We are going to be first, John and Daenerys. Uh, and that's that's it. Now who's gonna start over here? Let's see, John is going to try and take revenge <laughs> for what has been done to his teammate. So, oh, let me put it like this, okay. Um, so, it's going to be a sibling fight. Uh, first thing John's gonna do is he's going to use Long Claw, which goes on number two, and it's a challenge three to Arya. So, three, and Arya is going to defend with two. However, because Arya just got challenged, she can give the list to somebody. And she's going to go ahead and give that list to... Uh, she'll give it to... I know she's not... No, she's going to give it to John because Daenerys is now far away. Let's put it over here. Move everything up. By the time she comes back, she might... Arya might have John already dead. Um, so she was able to do that because remember when she gets challenged her Arya's list when a rival character when a rival character challenges Arya or one of her allies you may give that rival the Arya's list status card or move the Arya's list status card to that rival. Oh okay so she had to give it to John because John's the one that's challenging her. Okay well we did. All right so let's have the attacker roll first. Wow, that was good. That's, um, <laughs> I don't think you can come back from that. Yeah, she can. That's uh, two, two, two successes that are three each. So that's six and one seven. So the most she can roll here is six, but let's do it anyways. And she got three, but uh, John got seven. So, yep, revenge has been taken. <laughs> All right, and that triggers the blood of wolf and dragon while standing, which John was standing, when John or an adjacent ally challenges a rival and wins, which he just did, he won, you may shift a red or yellow ability token on your cooldown track down one. We can only do this once, but we're going to do it. So we're going to go ahead and take the red token and move it down one, and he still has one more action. Uh, he can do long claw again. Uh, you know what? I think he will. He's going to get this back. So let's do long claw again goes there another challenge three okay and not as good as the first time around that's two hits let's see if Arya can defend and she did defend she defend perfectly so Arya is just knocked down that's the end of John's turn he did two actions but remember um, ghost can do one action and he could do bite which is a challenge to action. However, we don't have any more red mana tokens. So he's just gonna have to either move or do nothing at all. I think I'm gonna move him one, two, uh, because maybe I can get him to start killing off those little pests, those little minions. Uh, but John's done. Now we go back. Uh, the Night King, one, two. He does not have, if, if he moves, he still cannot get Arya up which is really what he would love to do. <laughs> so, I guess he's just going to attack John <laughs> with his range, his ice spear, and it's a uh, challenge three, and John's gonna defend with two. So, okay, that's four damage, not four damage, four hits. Can John defend? And he does not, so John is knocked down. And that's one of his two actions. Now, um, he knows Drogon is out to get him. Doesn't care much about Drogon. Can't fight Drogon because Drogon is up there in the sky. Um, so I think instead he is going to move one, one, two. Let's get closer to the action. Maybe next time he could help 
area a little bit better. Now he's exhausted, which means that his minions can go. Uh, this minion is going to do a challenge one to John. Uh, all right, minion is going to roll, and it's a hit. Can John defend? And John does defend. He has three successes, so that did not work. And then this minion, one, two, is going to get closer to the mother of dragons and go for her. With that, he's exhausted. We go back. Now Daenerys is going to go. Before she goes, we can move uh, Drogon four, four spaces in a straight line. I'm thinking straight is straight, so we're just going to put it here. Okay. Now, Daenerys is going to move, I guess. One, two. And now that she's here, she can go ahead and do a basic attack and get rid of one of those guys. It's been a pest. So she attacks with two. And she does hit. Now, you will notice the uh, little white has no defense. He rolls zero dice. So because Daenerys got a hit on him, he is out. I'm going to go ahead and put him back here with the Night King. He can probably deploy him again soon. But with that, Daenerys is exhausted. She did a move and she did a challenge action. We go back to Arya, who is knocked down. So all she can do during her turn is rally, which means she gets to stand back up. With that, she is exhausted and rally takes two actions. That is the last uh, ability action on this card. Use two actions to stand up. So with everyone exhausted, it's time to end the round. And this is, guys, our first. So we're going to move everything down. We get our mana token back. And then we get to place the tokens with point markers back on the board. Uh, we do the same here. We put push everything down. And we've got the B point marker back. Uh, we unexhaust everybody. Okay. And first player is going to be the Night King's team. Uh, let's see. They're both up, and John is not. Let's start with Arya, who's adjacent to John and can try to get another point. Um, now he's got the list, so we're going to see. Let's see. She cannot use, unfortunately, she cannot use. Her abilities because she doesn't have the right mana colors they're still in the cooldown track but she will do a, a basic uh, challenge action which is two dice we hope to roll hope to roll like that <laughs> and John's gonna defend with two all right Arya attacks and Arya gets one hit <laughs> not as good and John defends it super well she's gonna do it again for her second action so off we go, that's two hits, a little bit better. Can John defend flawlessly again? No, he can't. He uh, only gets one defense, uh, and Arya got two hits on him. So with that, then John is out, and means Arya does get her point. <laughs> so they're up, they're up to four out of the six that they need. They haven't even tried to go to those towers. They're just enjoying beating each other up. So with that said, he gets back on number one now. He was adjacent, yeah, when Stan run away, when a character gets knocked down, yeah, we did that. Okay, so Arya is finished, she's exhausted, we need two more points, we go back to our team. Well, John can't do much, but even though John's not around, Ghost can act. So I'm going to have go ahead and uh, exhaust uh, John and have him give all of the actions to Ghost because even if he's knocked down uh, he can still give all the actions to, to Ghost. So the first thing that Ghost gets three actions then because he gets one of his own and then two from John. So three bites. But he can only do it once because of the mana. <laughs> but we'll do it once. Does he want to bite the Night King? I think he wants to bite the Night King. Oh, by the way, um, before I do Ghost, let me bring back the mana. When Arya knocks this character out, she may do a basic action. Then discard, discard when this character is knocked out. So Arya just did that. Arya just knocked this guy out. So this is discarded. She can do a basic action. And guess what she's going to do? She's going to challenge Ghost because she might as well. Um, or she can move towards the tower. That's another idea. Um, 
Yeah, why not? Or towards the point. One, two. There's her basic action. She's going to do that. Now we're back and Ghost gets three actions and he better run after Arya. So one, two, that's one. That's his action. And now John's going to forfeit his two actions to give him two more. He's going to bite. Try to bite Arya. Excuse me, John. Okay. So that's two against Arya's defense of two. Okay. And Ghost gets two successes. And Arya gets two successes. So that's it. And he cannot do it again because he doesn't have any more move, uh, um, a mana. But he's going to move. One, two and just kind of protect the tower zone a little bit better. Okay, so that is Arya's turn. We're back to Daenerys. What is she gonna do? She better go fast. Um, before the beginning of her turn, she can move Drogon in a straight line up to four spaces. One, two, three, four. So she's gonna move him there, and now she can go. I think she needs to start moving. One, two, and then she's gonna do another move action. One, two. Uh, one, two. She's ready to collect that point next turn. With that, she's exhausted, and we will go back to the Night King. The Night King can also go get some points. Let's see. He can move one, two, and then interact with this. I don't see why not. That brings them to five out of the six that they need. So actually, he doesn't even need to mingle with all these people. Um, and with that, the, he is exhausted now. Uh, once he is exhausted, remember he still has one minion out on the board. We can he can move or do a one move two or challenge one. He's gonna move two and kind of creep close to the queen. Uh, and let's see. With that, everybody's exhausted, so we end the round. These guys are first, so we'll push everything down get two mana back we also get our objective John comes back and his starting area is here so he'll protect there they've got their mana back everybody gets unexhausted and John's team is first player so with that in mind John's going to run and get this point because if he doesn't and these guys get it, that's it, it's game over. So John's gonna move, one, two, and then he's going to interact and snatch that point. And they're at three, and that is it for John, which means that we still didn't do Ghost, and Ghost is right here, there's some red mana, so we're going to go ahead and uh, do a bite action, challenge two. Um, okay, Ghost rolls. And he gets three, all right. Can Arya defend from that? She can't. So Ghost has managed to knock her down. Now at this point, because somebody challenged Arya, she can move the list, so she will. And it, it was Ghost, so it's kind of like John did it. So we have to give it to John. But John's got the list. Okay, with that, then John is finished. We go back now. Arya's down, so Mr. Night King might want to come help her. Um, he can also, one, two, even better, just go get that last point. And with that, finish the game. So Aria, sorry, one, two, and then interact, and they've done it. Um, let's see, they've got their six points. However, we do have to play until the end of the round. So he's exhausted, he still has a guy out on the board, so he's going to go ahead and challenge Daenerys, because you know, he's standing right there, so he's challenging one so that's a hit can Daenerys defend and she can she has she has three successes so Daenerys is fine now Daenerys is going to go ahead and take a turn first thing she'll do is she'll interact with another point and they're up to four however they will need two more before the end of the turn to to be tied and I don't know that she can do it that's one of her actions uh, for her second action because she can she'll draw carrots <laughs> She's not going to win, but at least we'll draw carries. Move, dragon, move the dragon token up to four squares in a straight line. Do a challenge three to rivals moved through. Only once per turn. So we can't go uh, over Arya because she's in this square. But we'll go one, two, three, four, straight over. We don't need to move four, just three. Straight over the Night King and do a challenge three action to him. 
I think it's the first time someone tries to go against them this, this game. I don't remember, but could be wrong. I think so. Okay, uh, there's Mr. Drogon. He's attacking with three. Drogon gives five successes. All right, let's see if the knight can, can defend against the dragon. And he cannot. So the Night King is down, which unfortunately is not enough for them to win, but it's very satis satisfactory, satisfac but it feels really good to know that he did put him down. Um, okay, so with that, Team Snow is finished. Team Stark still has Arya to go, but of course Arya is knocked down, so all she can do is rally and get back up. This is the end of the round, at the end of the round. Uh, we count the points, and yes, we have a team that is victorious. They have six points, so Arya and the Night King are the winners. Well, guys, there you have it. That was a full run-through of Funkiverse with our Game of Thrones characters. The Night King and Arya really got ahead and won the game. If you enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment below. Also, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Don't forget to join us on Twitter and Instagram where we'll tell you what games are coming next and also show you really cool pictures of your favorite board games. I will see you guys on the next video, but until then, may you play more games.